to everyone, these two key speakers and participants. A very warm welcome to the Nano Edible Sustainable Materials Properly Economy Seminar in conjunction with the AT NASA Animal Conference 2023. My name is Vipha Kwan, I'm a international collaboration officer at National Nano Technology Center on Nano Tech NASA, and it's my great honor to be the MC for today. So before we begin, I would like to inform the safety instructions in case of fire first. When you are hearing the fire alarm, take the nearest steps there and proceed to the nearest fire exit. Please turn to the elevators. Please wait at the necessary point for the instructions and information from emergency responders. And don't re-enter the building until you have been instructed to do so by the emergency responders. And a very good afternoon once again to everyone. May I give you the breakdown of and the objective of this seminar. Um, May I give a breakdown of VCT first before we go to the green economy. VCT or by all circular and green economy uh, or economic model has been introduced by the research community and promoted by the government as the new economic model for the inclusive and sustainable growth. The VCT model capitalized the country's name in biological diversity and cultural remnant and implant technology and innovation to transform Thailand to a value-based and innovation-driven economy. The model also conforms the UN Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs and is also intent to align with sufficiency economy physiology SEP, which is also a key principle of Thailand's social and economic development. Based on Thailand's strengths in robust agricultural activities, rich natural resources, and diversity in terms of both biological resources and physical geography, the VCT model is applied to focus on promoting for industry, namely agriculture and food, medical and wellness. By all community, by all medical and by all chemical, and tourism and creative economy. So today we focus on green economy. Green economy often utilizes green processes to benefit humanity in an equitable and inclusive way. It does, that it does not jeopardize ecosystem sustainability. The economy, the economy employs technology and innovation to transform our community into a value-based and innovation-driven economy. It capitalizes our strength in biological diversity and cultural unique. However, the development of sustainable material is yet to encounter several technical milestones involving product quality, process efficiency, and cost effectiveness. Among others, how can nanotechnology help the economy? Understanding materials building blocks, then structure property relationship at small scale should shed light into the material development opportunity. In this session, what aspects of nano edible sustainable material crop in economy are presented and discussed by invited speakers from academic and industry, from national and international, from a speaker of today. Cover topics include functional material design, synthesis, fabrications, surface modifications, nano dispersion, assembly of membranes, thin film, and fiber, and etc. An objective of this seminar is, is to set the opportunity for scientific discussion, exchange the idea and network together among researchers across the full range of national and international engagement, and to collaborate and form among international partners towards this collaboration on technology demonstration, technolo technology localization, or joint investment, and to develop nano edible sustainable material to support the green economy. So this session you will hear about nano materials and how they enable utilization of things in a sustainable way. I hope you will find the program to be fruitful and engaging. So let's get started to the first speaker, Assistant Professor Dr. Warati Sevahan, Deputy Director for Global Partnership Program Management Unit for Human Resources and Institutional Development, Research and Innovation for Republic UB in Thailand. 
today she's very sorry she is unable to present here online but she also sent the presentation to us so let's hear from her on global partnership in asia from the perspective of AUB. good afternoon and sawadee ka I'm Warajit Setapan, and I'm so honored to have the opportunity to be um, telling you about our initiative on global partnership in Asia. And this is from the perspective of PMUB, um, which is our agency. So PMUB, we are in the uh, Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research and Innovation. If you see in this structure, there are nine of the PMUs, this Program Management Unit. We are the funding agencies that allocate funding from the Science, Research and Innovation Fund um, to provide funding to uh, universities, research institutions, private sectors, or even communities. And then, so for us, there are various mandates for each of the PMU. Our PMUB, we focus on frontier research and human resource capacity building, um, highly skilled researchers especially. Like PMUA, it's area-based, PMUC is competitiveness, NAA, is National Innovation Agency focused on innovation, startups, and so on and so forth. So today I'll be talking about us, the PMUB. For our mandate um, to reiterate, we do the funding allocation for brain power, it's the B part, and um, manpower for the highly skilled researcher, actually. And then the second one is the funding allocation for front frontier research. And I'll be telling you a bit more about what our frontier research is all about. And the third is allocation funding for science and technology infrastructure um, to make the uh, research institute or your lab to, um, to upgrade level to be the, like the national facilities. For PMUB Frontier Research Program, we focus on three pillars which are the Frontier BCG, Frontier Science, and Frontier Cha. So for the BCG are the topics under the bio, circular, and green economy. So I think the topic of nanomaterials would be under this um, topic, um, maybe focus on the climate change or net zero um, aspect of the application for your nanomaterials for the green economy. For the Frontier Science, then, um, for example, we have projects such as in quantum or um, Earth space like that. So one of our main projects is the Mission to the Moon project as well. And Frontier Sha, Sha is social science, humanity and art. Um, looking forward, how can Frontier Research on this area help with creative economy? Under the creative economy would be film, fashion and festival. Here's some more detail of the subtopic under each pillar of our program. Um, for the Frontier BCG, uh, we have for the personalized medicine, bioinformatic, precision medicine, personal health AI. So the goal would be that um, each project would be developed and if we combine it together, looking at the big picture, we want for Thailand to be the personalized health hub for Asia. As well for each of the other track, we do want to have the goal for our researcher combined forces. We would provide, B would be like the net zero technology hub, or for Child Frontier would be digital creative content hub. So we have that future goal in mind of what we want to do. And then we also not only build um, highly excellent research capacity, and then we want to develop the skill sets for our researchers, such as the brain power, through like the national post doctoral post postgraduate program, or uh, upskill reskill for the uh, researcher to become in the global league through the global partnership program, or like the ASEAN talent mobility program as well. One of our flagship program for PMUB, it's called Frontier Postdoctoral Postgraduate Researcher Program. This aim as the researcher who just graduated either master's or PhD, um, they can be Thai graduate, um, which is in Thailand or Thai graduate who currently abroad that they want to have their postdoctoral program 
in Thailand at the um, industry or either at a research institution. Or it can be non-Thai um, graduate who are currently abroad and if they want to come to Thailand and do research in Thailand, this program can also fund their stipend, their travel, and also their accommodations. So it's a, it's a very, very flexible um, funding. So that will provide the researcher that can help with the research program in your um, research institution or help with the research in the industrial sector as well. I'd like to add on a little bit more about the PMUB Frontier BCG Research Program. Um, there are, as I said, personalized medicine and future food. Maybe you can think about um, your colleagues and friends or what you do if you want to expand into the other areas for nanomaterials. Maybe nanomaterial can help with the biomarkers or drug discovery or um, part of a material to help with the cultured meat and maybe to, through value-added chemical compounds in the future food that create sensory texture, um, having high value added up the products like that. So um, for PMUB, we're looking for new innovative ideas um, with application, but you have to see the goal and the application for the future industry. For our net zero program, we might be more um, in your wheelhouse, okay? So our net zero program, we're looking at a cut across program focusing on um, three work packages. The first one is brain power development, um, which we create like carbon verifier, upscale, reskill technology for sustainable technology um, toward the net zero and carbon neutrality. And the work package two is focusing on research um, on BCG as well as CCUS and decarbonization. The goal would be prototype and publications or high level publications. And it might help that the nanomaterial would be in new material for carbon capture, storage, and utilization as well. For work package three, focusing on policy, looking policy brief on not only um, human resource development and CCUS policy, as well as nature-based solution policy. So our goal is for PMUB to fund um, for these three pillars and help Thailand, also help Thailand achieve our net zero goal in 2065. Now let's talk a little bit about the global partnership directions for PMUB. So our main goal is we want to transform the research excellence that we have nationally toward globally. In order to do that, we have to have partners, international partners. So we do fund research program, collaboration program, um, network development program, capacity building program regionally. And our Target right now, it would be for ASEAN target, Asia, and global. It depends on um, the uh, topic and the specific goal for each of the program as well. So for the research direction, when I talk, I talk to you about the three pillars all the time already. So now we have a lot of joint funding scheme that we are a part of. Um, the popular one is eAsia. We have the um, Southeast um, Asia Europe um, joint funding scheme, JFS. Um, coming up would be ANSO in that development. We have DFG, Thai and German, Belmont Forum, where we're be a part of, and the new and upcoming would be European Research Council. Um, that we do like a postdoc program, but with highly skilled researcher, they can have join the research program in European uh, funded researcher in there. Not only that, we do fund of the existing network and institution if it fit the direction for national development or regional development as well. So not only the research that we do fund, we do um, looking at the um, enhancing the capacity of the network for the global network. So we have project like developing the ASEAN talent pool. Um, so the talent pool would go through the ASEAN talent mobility plus program is like the capacity building program where we can form ASEAN team, do a joint research program together 
And not only that, we do want to develop um, technology and exchange research facilities so we can leverage from the research facilities that we have in each of our countries as well. So, um, for example, there are various programs that we can come up, which is very quite flexible, either maybe innovation development, technology transfer program together, or bilateral, trilateral together, exchanges, mobilities, and um, looking at sharing resources and sharing infrastructure. PMUB is honored to have the opportunity to work with various funding agencies, international funding agencies. So we do want to develop our global partnership program for our Thai researcher. So the main, um, the program, the goal is maybe the, at first it would be starting just with the exchanges developing friendship and hopefully with the good coordination and starting collaboration in research will build a true partnership and at the end with our international partners we want to create a mutual benefit out of the research and the capacity building and exchanges so for our program we have two type which is a frontier research program and also the brain power development program for the Frontier Research, we have the opportunity for a couple of years to work with DFG on two topics, which is both on health and climate change. Like health, we um, can focus on subtopic like Denki, climate change like energy. And then um, now we want to try to develop the projects together or fund together with ANSO, focusing on frontier science or earth space system. For eAsia has been, we started since call 10 and now it's call 12 um, on health and environment. We're trying to do on a little bit crossover with climate change and health as well. Then for um, Southeast Asia, JFS focus on two topics, which is health and climate change. For Beltmont Forum, which is, this is very difficult. It's more of an integrated approach. Um, a high level research, a bigger research team integrate between science and social science together. So from this, you see that PMUB work with other funding agencies on various topics that can help um, enhance our research uh, capability from bilateral to more of a trilateral to multilateral um, uh, research collaborations. So that's for the frontier research. For our exchange program, we do have a few exchange programs um, that is in the pipeline right now, like the ASEAN Talent Mobility Program, which we start doing capacity building, start with the BCG researcher. And then hopefully um, we would expand toward the ASEAN region and then ASEAN Plus. We have another program, it's Franco-Thai Young Talent Research Fellowship Program, which we work with the French Embassy to do exchanges from Thai to France or the French researcher back to Thailand as well. And then we um, provide funding about 10 to 15 per year on that. And the new one is the ERC, it's the um, European Research Council and PO, PMUB Researcher Mobility in Frontier Science. So for this, it's not just young talent, we want um, highly skilled researcher to be able to learn from the um, ERC funded researcher, and then also hopefully building connections, collaborations, and can do good work, um, more research work in the future as well. So our goal, as I said, is we do want to create mutual benefit that can happen as well as um, uh, have our researcher to s learn and to see and to contribute um, regarding globally. A little bit more um, uh, information about the ASEAN Talent Mobility Plus program. So the goal would be in a five-year goal that we want to develop ASEAN talent pool and then capacity building programs like this one, uh -huh, ASEAN researcher uh, mobility program. And then hopefully the training that we help provide or capacity building program, the ASEAN member would form a team and then um, the platform would be adapt adopted to the ASEAN secretariat and hopefully it will be useful to the ASEAN member state. and we can develop like ASEAN Talent Mobility Academy um, training not only from Thailand that 
uh, may be strong in BCG and maybe other ASEAN member state, which is um, depend on what the research strength is, we can develop like academy and do training and exchanges for the researcher as well. And hopefully this pool of um, researcher would become think tank for ASEAN and would form the team to tackle ASEAN grand challenges. Not only that, leverage not from national funding and if we can using that to leverage for the international funding source that would be amazing and with that if it's a team ASEAN banded together we can share the um, research lab research facilities and hopefully really um, solve the ASEAN um, grand challenges and help our region to develop and grow So what we do that for PMUB, um, just to tell you the truth, our funding is not a lot. So we try to linkage and align with other um, funding agencies or other organization with um, similar goal and also mindset as well. So our young talent program, we do want to have a few program as, as I said before, we want to do scouting, um, provide database capacity building, mobility activities, um, seed fund their research, and then hopefully we want to have maybe ASEAN Researcher Award and co-funding with international agencies with this. So this is more like our track of program of what we want to do. And we would do like to find like international partners like co-funding agencies or other partner like ASEAN, Simeo Right Ed, Euraxis with our either regional partners, national partners, funding agency partners, government partners. And how can we kind of like um, uh, align the project um, with similar goal and using our limited resources together to get a higher impact out of it. And for example, uh, we talk with SCAP and SCAP are developing like human capital development um, establishing the STI pool for talent for inclusive and sustainable growth for CLVT. So with that, maybe we can do a partner with our ATM alignment and see how it go. And with Kyoto University, they're doing ASEAN Japan STI coordinator, and that would develop the researcher to become leaders and coordinators in tackling a larger regional project. With that, um, we can have some of the program combined together with the Japan and then and so on and so forth. So with this, we do welcome ideas and we do welcome um, a lot of the new initiative together. So lastly, I just want to say that for PMUB, we have a lot of opportunities for collaboration and partnership. With this, our goal, our policy in funding policy is co-creation policy with our strategic partners. We do welcome. And then so we hope to have using the quadruple helix using consortium driven um, model, which is that the funding is not just to the researcher alone in one institution. We have the, we want to create the team of consortium with the research institution or public sector from civil society and private sector um, and government sector and PMUB and our strategic partner together and see um, how we can align together and also build the project together to create a mutual goal. So thank you very much for the opportunity for me to speak. And if you want any other information, um, please uh, email PMUB or you can email me at um, the email and then also follow us on our Facebook and our webpage as well. So thank you very much. Sawadee